So Sulbi is a um, uh, again a very interesting profile. 2007 batch bits uh, engineer uh, worked for nearly three years in again high technology three scale semiconductor. In semiconductor technology, she worked for nearly three years, and then the last uh, eight years again. Uh, uh, eight, 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 eight years in okay. uh, education started a company called Mera careerguide.com and then careerguide.com. I think uh, a, a tremendous amount of work that they have done in the space of career counseling. They work with students, their parents, and guiding them as to what career should the person the best. I think that's uh, that's uh, Surabhi, uh, because she was passionate about people making the right choices for their careers. Uh, maybe now we will get into the first question, which is like at this point of time, what it is that you see the current and how you see the future uh, from your perspective. Uh, actually, I definitely see a lot of women participation will happen in future in HR because work from home has become a reality. Uh, and uh, freelance economy definitely there. I see the work culture definitely because working from home and we. I personally see and looking at the data around, this might go for another 12 months, you know, 16 months before, you know, we really start stepping out uh, with, without fear, uh, you know. Uh, so future would be more from the HR front would be about freelancers definitely, or for remote working. A uh, lot of challenges will definitely come for managers, middle managers, supervisors, because it's going to be very, very difficult to manage workforce which is scattered and have a different schedule. Yeah? So I, I totally see that you know there'll be somebody who will be up to give a review or update or discussion even at 10 p.m. and somebody is up at 6 p.m. It's very challenging for people uh, during these times, uh, you know, for middle managers, managers and supervisors to look at. Wow. That's one of the skills for individuals, you know, a different sort of skill sets now would be required for individuals. A whole lot of discipline required. Uh, I think one of the disciplines since the lockdown, you know, since March, uh, I'm sure all of you are following, but I, I just make sure that I dress up like the way I'm going to office, you know. So if I have to put on earrings, I put. If I have to put on lipstick, I put, you know, because that's the that's the way feeling you can, you can just give. It's, it's like, you know, the boundary between the personal life and the you know, uh, the work life is has to be there. So a lot of discipline, motivation, individual motivation, which we talked about, will come into practicality. So a lot of people will be weeded out who really needed uh, supervisors or nagging or instructions on time to time to do things. So a lot of a new sort of talent will come forward who can handle project management tools pretty well, who can handle... Uh, you know, uh, these uh, reporting pretty well kind of a thing and they, they are okay having these monitoring systems in place. So I believe, I'm sure a lot of you must have done and at least we do use tools like Monitask and Rescue Time, which, uh, you know, one has to enable and it logs your time records and activities what you're doing. So it's like a self-imposed discipline and also the tracking of the work kind of a thing. So the, the need of these tools in the project management even will percolate to the lowest level of individuals, you know. So even if you have a support or call center or even the junior most salespeople, they need to have the reporting and the project management skills to going forward. So these are the couple of things, you know, I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So you made some interesting points about women participation and self-driven individuals Then you talked about. Uh, monitoring tools in place. All right, so good. I think so far, uh, you know, what all of us are saying is that digital is the way forward. More gig uh, workers are going to come uh, come to work in this particular sector, and uh, there is going to be, of course, uh, uh, government might have to bring its own regulation or certain framework to sort of. Uh, regulate the universities or the providers who are giving e-degrees. So some of these things all of us are talking about. On this particular aspect about, of course, each of your companies are into different, different niche that you are catering to. For example, Class Plus doing something to sort of help 
tutors go online to Edu Christine, who's doing something about uh, uh, helping students prepare for some of those international exams, to uh, a career guide who's doing online uh, uh, career guidance. It's like a marketplace of a uh, lot of uh, career counselors who provide counseling, or maybe uh, Hughes uh, Global Education, which sort of brings a lot of those internationally or nationally acclaimed courses online. So there are various, uh, uh, you know, drivers that you see, which is driving your own business. Do you see any disruption or any change which this particular event has done to your current business uh, uh, drivers? Uh, Surbi, uh, do you think this particular event is making any impact on the career guidance uh, the way that you were doing earlier to now you will do? Yeah, so as an edtech founder, this event has made me more ambitious, the entire team more ambitious because a COVID-19 crisis has actually shifted edtech industry to work three to four years ahead, you know, what it would have taken. Uh, so our way of thinking and implementation, so we did think about a lot of offline strategy because we thought that consumers are not ready, you know. So we were open to, we were trying to open up a Facebook face-to-face -to -face counseling strategies, a lot of admission form strategies, a lot of things we had mentally prepared that, okay, maybe, you know, the market is not ready yet. We have to do the traditional way. But now we have just totally scrapped that, you know, that's not even in our thought process. Okay, so you want to more, more digital is what you are looking I mean, at. there's no okay. uh, thought process behind it. Let's even try to have a sales team, which might be on, you know, field. So it is okay. more ambitious also in terms of how to implement the plans because now the the entire the moment of this COVID nineteen is what uh, demonetization did to you know wallets and cashless economy you know so the idea of going cash free got it got it okay, so that yeah. that how it has yeah. done so, so very like, good you know for yeah. us uh, I see this that's the moment because consumer. Understand. Even today, a rickshaw wala, auto wala guys understand online education, what, what demonetization yeah. is. This yeah. has made us more ambitious with our plan. So, from a business perspective, do you think that, um, you know, you would require uh, anything different in the way HR processes are run in your organization or the kind of people that are hired in your organization? model was always on contract and freelancing model so but we never thought about tech and support to be something which could be contractual you know so this uh, this has made us look at a lot of tech and support to be contract so earlier we thought about you know uh, the you know one way to see the motivation in an employee was if they're appearing in office every day morning you know on time that was a great way you know to judge the motivation level of an employee or a team member, but today, and then it was always a challenge, you know, who could travel from Gurgaon to Central Delhi? Could somebody, a great talent travel to, you know, Greater Noida to Delhi or some other place? Now the region or location, geographic location is no bar, right? Because we are so, uh, the, the mindset has changed uh, eventually that, you know, let somebody sit anywhere, we don't care, you know, the processes are there for remote working, let them have that. And I think even the crisis getting over, this will continue. So, uh, so it has become in this way that last few uh, weeks, you know, the number of hours which we expected people to do nine to 10 hours, instead of that, you know, we have expectation has lowered, maybe you can give five to six hours, but the number of headcounts increased, you know, because there are more contract individuals available, more freelancers available. So the cost to the company remains the same because you are distributing the cost, right? But the efficiency definitely increases, you know, because whatever hours an individual is putting in, they're putting it with a full effort uh, towards that. So uh, I think this, this duration has uh, taught me in terms of, you know, the tech talent, a lot of functions actually is redundant and need not be at office, you know. Uh, so, I think the teamwork spirit while apart and the over hype, the MBA soft skills of teamwork and the communication skills and extroversion is now on backseat, you know. So I think the, I think the good news for all the introverts out there is, you know, they are pretty good for hiring, you know, now.